as paradise. to the early 1970s, school-aged children from the Asuyas Indian Band were sent to Indian residential schools in Kamloops, Cranbrook, St. Eugene's, and Mission, St. Mary's. Native children from Canada and the United States were taken from their reserves and away from the influence of their homes, families, traditions, and cultures. They were forced to endure years of regimental schooling far away from home. Survivors of the schools described them as jails for the children, administered by the federal government and churches. The Indian residential school system caused much suffering and intergenerational trauma, which remains today, as it was a policy of assimilation aimed at destroying native language and culture to kill the Indian in the child. This wall symbolizes the Indian residential schools and on each side of this red brick wall are actual bricks from the Kamloops and Cranbrook Indian Residential School. Thank you for everybody that has come here today. And I think if you look inside yourself, you'll really feel some emotions that maybe are getting stirred with some of the findings that, that are coming out. Thank you. Gentlemen, could I get pictures to uh, the drums and all together? Yeah. Come on, get in there, Tiger. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Oh, you're going by size? That's not fair. What about one moment, though? I'm doing something wrong here. I'm doing something wrong. Sorry, there's something wrong nice. with the camera. 